I'm Dave Ford and this presentation is going to show you how easy it is to add a countdown timer into a PowerPoint presentation and all you need is the ability to be able to copy and paste. So first of all, to locate these timers we need to go to my website which is www.a6training.co.uk and then if you go to resources and then PowerPoint you'll get this page here. This has a whole load of resources on it. That link there, which says Countdown Timers for PowerPoint, is just a link to a PowerPoint presentation. So if you click on that, you can then download it. And you'll get something that looks like this. Now the first page is just a title, the second page is some instructions, so it tells you everything that you need to do. And then as you go down through, you've got different increments of time and different styles of timer. So that one there is a bar where the timer, when it starts, it starts on the left, and as it goes through, it moves to the right. And this one takes five seconds. That one, for example, takes 10 seconds. Okay, These ones here, um, I've got a 10 second timer and it will actually count down. So it will count 10, 9, 8, 7, down to, to 1 and then end. Uh, this one here, uh, these lines will kind of appear and go around a bit like a clock appearing, uh, like a well-known TV program. Uh, similarly with this one here, um, it will start off at the top and this red line will work its way around uh, covering half of the circle until it gets to the bottom and then it stops. And this final one here, going up to two minutes, it starts off with um, 1 minute 59, 1 minute 58, 1 minute 57, etc. And it counts down until it gets to end. So what we need to do is choose what time increment you want and then which of the timers you're going to use. So I'm going to use um, one of the shorter ones. So I'm going to go back up and create a five second timer. Now what I have to do here, uh, I, I need to copy and paste this. I could just copy and paste the whole slide, that's one way of doing it. Or I'm just going to click the mouse up here. I'm then going to hold my finger down and I'm going to drag uh, so it's around the whole of the thing. And the reason I do that is this is actually made up of six circles, uh, one on top of each other. So I need to select all six of them. If I just click on the top one, it would only select the top one and it wouldn't work. So having selected it, I need to copy. So Control and C is a shortcut for copy. I'm then going to go into a different presentation and I'm going to paste. And then I could put a question in or a task into the presentation around it. So I'm just going to uh, sorry, run the slideshow and all that happens is when you want to start it you just click the button it will automatically start and then when it gets to the end it says end and that's how easy it is to add your own timers to a PowerPoint presentation now if you want to change the time increment so you want something different to what I've provided there, it is possible on some of the timers. Uh, so for example, this bar one we can do it on. All I'd have to do is again highlight the, the end word and the bar. So control and C. And then I'm going to go into my presentation and I'm going to create a new slide. And I'm going to paste. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go to the custom animation option. Now what we see here, if I go to the custom animation, is rectangle 3, it says 2 minutes it's going to take. So what I need to do is I need to change that. Uh, it's just off your screen, there's a little down arrow uh, to the right of rectangle 3 where it says timing. And in here, where it says speed, I can put in any number I like. Now I have to put it in in seconds. So let's say I wanted 3 minutes, I would just type in 180 and then OK. And it will then, you see here, automatically convert that into the number of minutes. And that's how you can actually change the times uh, for the different um, timers. It doesn't work with all of them. It will work with the one with the bar that goes across, and it will work with the ones that are like a half circle sweeping round. Um, and all you have to do is alter the timing of the uh, thing that does the animation. And that's it. Very, very easy way of putting these into your own presentations. Now, the reasons why I might do that is... Um, it helps to focus the learners. If I've given them a task to do and I give them a set time to do it in, it helps them keep focused on the task and it also keeps me focused so that I don't let things drift. So if I've planned the lesson out and I've got certain periods of time for certain activities, I use the timers as much as anything to keep myself disciplined so that we don't slip and things overrun and it keeps the sessions more punchy. Um, I found it had a big impact on the behaviour of the class, uh, it helped them focus, it stopped them drifting off into challenging behaviour and it overall had a big effect on the learning.